I keep thinking about how scared Asia was. I might have been, and I'm just like, that's not the last thought that I want for my niece, because she was just such a sweet, joyful spirit. She's missed by me, of course. She's missed by everybody, because she added so much joy and enrichment and enlightenment and positivity to our life. She was only 17, her future still a promise waiting to unfold. But now, that promise was shattered in the quiet darkness of the abandoned field. She had seen the man for what he was and had been brave enough to speak out. But his family couldn't let that happen. They had come together, desperate to ensure the only voice that could condemn him would be silenced forever. Regretfully, 17-year-old Asia, a bright light in her family, who aspired to fight for her rights, would lose her life defending herself. Before we begin this video, we would like to express our deepest sympathies to the family and friends who were severely affected by this horrible crime. We would also like to send condolences to Asia's family and friends. Today's case takes us to Newport News. Newport News is a city in southeastern Virginia, located on the James River near the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. The city has a population of around 185,000 residents. The city is known for its significant shipbuilding industry, particularly the Newport News Shipbuilding Yard, which constructs U.S. Navy aircraft carriers and submarines. It also features historical attractions, maritime museums, and a strong military presence due to nearby naval install. <laughs> yeah, I was recording his video. I ain't live. She's pulling out bikes. So, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You know, when you got Stop pulling out bikes. You gotta get it out. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna post this later. I want you to know that. Okay, that's. Uh... <laughs> what is that supposed to be? I can't see. <laughs> Asia, Lionetta, Cowell, widely known by the nickname Brown Baby, was born on May 28, 2003. The 17-year-old was born in Norfolk, Virginia, to Lionetta Cowell and Travis Simmons. She was in her final year at Granby High School and was scheduled to graduate in June of 2021. Asia was an aspiring entrepreneur who was also a skilled hairstylist and fashion designer. Cowell was generous, funny, and always remembered as a sweet person who adored everyone she met and was passionate about changing the world and assisting those in need. Asia was a great friend to many individuals whose lives will be permanently changed by her presence. Cowell had the capacity to alter the vibe in a room. She had the most incredible attitude, smile, and heart, and she shined in every occasion, conversation, or circumstance. Asia's aunt remarked that she had great compassion and that occasionally others her age didn't care for others the way she did. Cowell was constantly smiling and had an immense passion for assisting others, especially the less fortunate or homeless. Her younger siblings and she shared a deep bond as well. Asia and her aunt had been living together for more than a year and a few months. They had a tight relationship. Asia was in school. She had started her hair business at the age of 17, but she would not live to see another year. On September 7, 2020, Asia was tricked into going to a house in Norfolk, believing she would be helping a woman who had messaged her on Instagram with hairstyling. Tanita Cowell, Asia's aunt, dropped her off, but she never heard from her again. Nonetheless, she was close to her aunt, who knew she would never leave without notifying her. She alerted the authorities to her disappearance right away. Without success, they quickly formed search groups and set out to find her. Cowell was last seen near the 7400 block of West Kenmore Drive in Norfolk, Virginia. Then, on September 23, 2020, at 11.15 a.m., barely two weeks after she went missing, Newport News police officers responded to a call for assistance regarding a deceased individual found along the wood line in the 16,000 block of Warwick Boulevard. Upon arrival, cops discovered a female who had been pronounced dead by healthcare professionals at the scene. The female was positively identified as Asia Cowell, 17, of Norfolk, Virginia. Miss Cowell has been reported missing from Norfolk. On December 20th, 
2020, at 9.39 a.m., Crystal Alberton, 30, of the 7400 block of West Kenmore Drive in Norfolk, was detained at NNPD headquarters, 9710 Jefferson Avenue. She was charged for committing a felony, criminal solicitation, or conspiring to commit a felony. Following an inquiry, the police discovered that Asia was murdered in an effort to prevent her from testifying against her own alleged rapist. Alberton captured Asia with the assistance of Feaster and her spouse. Alberton and Feaster abducted Asia as soon as she entered the house. Prior to her passing, Asia was scheduled to testify against Feaster's brother. Cowell filed charges for attempted rape, sodomy, kidnapping with intent to defile, and strangling after Deshaun Corum, 30, was allegedly seen attempting rape in early May 2020. She and Cowell were making their way well into the woods. Eventually, Asia Cowell was told that she should stop by Crystal. Then Crystal told Feaster to shoot her, according to the police. It is stated that Feaster informed detectives she was incapable of doing the task. After grabbing the gun, Crystal shot Asia. Devin Alberton, Crystal's husband, allegedly admitted to authorities that he did not see the murder but did dispose of Cowell's personal belongings and cell phone, according to the accusations. The complaints further claimed that he disposed of the murder weapon. The charges against Corum were dropped a week after Cowell's body was found. To Newport News now and a life sentence for a woman convicted of killing a teenager. We've been following this story for close to four years now. Crystal Albritton was sentenced this morning for the death of Aisha Cowell in what the judge says is one of the worst cases he's ever seen. Then your side's Brett Hall has the new information. Prosecutors say that 17-year-old Aisha Cowell was killed because she did what we'd all want anyone else to do. She was willing to speak up when something happened that wasn't right. And in part because of those circumstances, Judge Gary Mills says he feels a life sentence for 34-year-old Crystal Albritton is appropriate. I'm going to thank Jesus for that sentence. I praise him for that sentence because we needed that. She... They took a wonderful life. It was September 7th, 2020. Prosecutors say that Crystal Albritton, along with her husband, Devin, and goddaughter, Deja Feaster, lured the 17-year-old Granby High School student to their Norfolk home to do hair. But when she arrived, she was duct taped, gagged, pistol whipped, and put into a box, driven the Newport News, and then shot in the back of the head in the woods. For roughly two weeks, her body would sit there. Prosecutors say it was all done in order to keep Asia from testifying in court against her ex-boyfriend, Deja's brother, who was accused of rape. Albritton's defense attorney tried to make the case that because Albritton pleaded guilty and avoided putting the family through a trial, she is taking responsibility for her actions. I would like to apologize for my part when I played music uh, in the, the situation towards the family. Um, if I could take it back, I would. Um... I can't, and I'm sorry. Asia's family was glad Judge Gary Mills didn't buy it. At the end of the day, it don't, it don't bring her back. It don't bring her back. But cherish the time that you got with them now, because when they're gone, you're going to you know, see and realize what you have. Now, Albritton does have the right to appeal, but again, she pleaded guilty, so her defense attorney says her options are more limited. Again, the Commonwealth did not want to go on camera with us today because two more people still have to go through the criminal process, and that could happen in the coming months. In Newport News, outside the courthouse, Brett Hall, 10 on your side. We pray that the sentencing brings closure to Asia's family and that her soul rest in peace. If you would like to stay updated with this type of content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the following video.